The other day, I found this old uh, Panasonic NVGS uh, 27 DV camera. Uh, there is some stuff in the videos that I want to keep, which is pictures of my old kids, uh, videos of my old kids, sorry. And um, the only problem is that it's Firewire. On the video camera itself, you've got either Firewire or USB. Uh, you can't see the USB port there. You can transfer videos using videos media player and using it as a webcam, but you only get um, 640 by 320 resolution. So it's not that great. Um, so I spent a load of time looking at old videos, well, not old videos, new videos on YouTube about how to connect this to a computer now. And it's, to be honest, a bloody nightmare um, if you don't have Firewire on your laptop. Which is why I reckoned, I've started rebuilding this old HP. Um, it's doing an automatic repair right now, but it does work. And I've got a cheap Firewire cable. If you don't have this facility, um, you can look at other YouTube videos, which I might link, but I probably won't. Um, and it gives you a start on how to do it. But it is a bit of a nightmare and has a lot of investment. Now, I don't know how much an old HP Elite Book costs, um, but it might be cheaper than buying a ton of Firewire shit. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into how that's done and a bit of um, well, how I did it and a bit of... Um, stuff on this Panasonic DV camera. So, so this camera is pretty easy. You've got the battery pack, you've got power on button, photo button, wide angle telephoto button. Then you power it on, you your LCD display, and um, shows that you're in tape playback mode. And just turn that switch there, get yourself into video mode, Hit the record button or press that button. Um, here you've got auto and manual focus. I've never used the manual focus on it, so I don't know how to use it, but who cares? And there's also a reset button. On this side, you've got your tape eject, which ejects your DV, the digital video uh, tape and you just press it down and put it in. Using it is absolutely simple for anyone used with using a modern video camera. It's got a 30 times optical zoom and 300 times or something digital zoom, which I would not recommend anybody using at all because you start losing resolution. Yeah, sorry, I hadn't closed the cassette door. And that's basically a quick rundown of the Panasonic. Um, oh yeah, and your, your menu button, where you can go through your basic advanced setup language. So basic gives you scene mode on or off. And you hit the... Oh, scene mode, it says change to manual mode for some reason, I don't know why. Record speed, standard play, wind cuts so that affects the wind noise, cinema, that's on, clock set, you can do that if you want. And you hit the menu button to exit that. Menu, advanced setup, says so I don't know what that is, fade colour, auto record 16, audio record 12 bit or 6 bit, digital zoom off, zoom mic on, um, shutter effect off. And that is really about it for the menus. Um, apart from the setup, you've got your display, date, time, power save, quick start, beep sound, LCD, EVF. Yep, easy. Firewire is connected to the computer and to the digital video camera and I've got video the camera is set in playback mode and I've got Windows Movie Maker up there so that's the import from the camera 
go into file import from device uh, Microsoft DV to select your camera name import the entire video or you can choose parts to import so the first thing it does is rewind the tape and then it's capturing the video which is just a little shot that I take out the window here and it isn't too long um, And now it's saving the file, so I think, yes, it's saving. Alrighty, we're here at the end, and the photo gallery has successfully imported the tape. So hit the OK button, and it's loading. And we've got... in the September 23 gallery um, and if we click on its properties it is coming out at a frame rate of 720 by height of 576 which is not great but it's a lot better than what you're getting from Windows um, thingamy player um, the Windows camera and that's it you can then uh, do all your usual um, editing uh, with it you can load it up edit it into other movies but it's easy piece of piss really isn't it now for this camera I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it now I'm definitely going to use it um, mainly because I can take it um, out of my pocket and it'll be on within seconds of me hitting that on button which you don't always get with a mobile phone or even my action cam takes a couple of seconds to boot up so um, and it's also fun using old technology